Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I wanted to show y'all what is new in my Etsy shop. There's actually a couple things but I'm only going to show y'all this one for today. Um, this is an altered file for folder um, and is this not the cutest thing you have ever seen? Okay, maybe not the cutest, maybe not cuter than a little Basset Hound puppy. But it's cute. I love it. All right. So let me see here. Okay. So I've made a little pocket here out of this tag that I made. A, I made this tag a long, long time ago. And it is so full of special details, bling, and it's just, it's loaded. And I just could never figure out where to use it. And here it is. I love it right here. Some cute, 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 cute little Polaroid prints by Sam Pool Designs. I've got a bunch of crafty, I mean, not crafty me shop. Um, the Most of the lace you see is from crafty me shop. But a lot of the prints from my porch prints and Sam Pool Designs. And I will put the description, um, the link of these, of the prints throughout, down in the description. So that you can go get them for yourself if you want them. Got this beautiful little girl. Bunch of collaging different papers, different fabrics, lots of places to write throughout here. And several, like three journals, I think, and here's one journal, and I just love this paper. I think it is a new obsession. It really, really is. I have now used it and so many different things and I just I can't get enough of it y'all excuse my hands I have been crafting all morning long and I know I have glue and distress ink all over them for sure all right let's open this up we're gonna flip down let me look at the back of this camera to see what it looks like okay all right here we go We've got this piece. This also flips down. Maybe I should back off just a touch. Let me back off just a little. How about that? I want y'all to get a better view. Okay, this does flip open. This does come out. How cute. How cute. Little snippet there. I love it, y'all. I'm just really, really happy with how this turned out. Super, super happy. We've got, I've got a bunch of little envelopes right here, and we've got some, um, what is that called? I can't think of the name of this liquid. Anyway, in the shape of a little heart, got some little bling there, and each one of these envelopes does have little tiny cards and papers that you can pull out and write on and put back. Adorable! Got another little pocket here with journaling tags and cards. Let's flip that and look here. I um, cut this gate out with my Cricut and then I embossed it with this pearly embossing powder and I'm keeping it shut with, with the clip. If you open it up, more places to write and more pretties. To me, this is just so chock full of eye candy. I've done some decoupaging with beautiful papers and some napkins. Put that back, there we go. Okay, over here, let me look at the back of my camera again. There we go. Okay, y'all, I want y'all to see these ruffles that I created with a bunch of torn paper and lace. I just love it, love it, love it. Out slides this little journal, complete with that lovely crunchy sound. And some pretty papers on the inside and plenty of it. So this, even though it is a folio altered file folder, lacking sp uh, lack of writing space, it does not possess. There's plenty of writing space here if that's what you desire to do. 
All right, let's move to right here. All right. Here I've got a belly band made out of a snip piece of snippet roll that I made. I'm, the snippet roll is absolutely huge, and I'm just... I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I've already used it numerous times. Got this bingo card. Love that print. Again, you flip them over, plenty of places to jot down thoughts or favorite lyrics or just what you're thinking. Um, another snippet roll. Th no, that's not a snippet roll. This is just a ruffle with some cheesecloth and stitching that I made. And hanging off of that, made this little dangly, my cute little pen. Let's open that up. Okay. And I've got this CD case, and she comes out, and again, flip her over, plenty of room. And look at that image that I have glued down on the inside. So if you pull that out, you're not disappointed with the images left. It's not blank. It is gorgeous. Got the snippet here, a little snippet piece of um, doily and bits of lace. And another little piece of um, my snippet roll that I've got put on top here is a little handle. So we open that. And again, I think the back. And what's holding it together is just as beautiful. All right, here, let's see, here we go. Here I have just put together a bunch of beautiful different swatch of papers that you can journal on or just look at. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, over here, we got this um, glassine. Is this glass? This is glassine one or is this my paper one? I think this is my paper one. Craft bag. It's a craft bag um, that I embossed here with rose embossing and did a little bit of distress ink and some stamping and some collaging. And made some pockets out of the cute little sample Polaroid and a little tag that I made. And a little tiny bit of bling down there. Got a little bingo card stuck in there. And in there is a little journal. With a pocket on the front. And a little shaker. With a bunch of pretties. Open it up. Got a bunch of really, in my opinion, really, really pretty papers. I love them. And again, this ruffle just carries on all the way down. Over here, I've made a bunch of um, little pocket areas and a little snippet out of this bag, another little craft bag. more writing spaces and up here some pretty french country shabby tickets and another polaroid more collaging and beautiful rose papers back in there i just love how all of this really come together the um the coffee lace dye of the um folder with the background of the rose paper and napkins i I don't think I could be happier with it. I really, really, really don't. Um, one more thing to show y'all. The back. Okay, so back here I did a bunch of collaging with tissue paper and that beautiful lace paper and paper doily that I dyed and music sheet. These, I am super, super, super proud of these doilies. I, um decoupage them with some napkins that I have. And if y'all want to see how I did that, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to do a video on how I did these because I'll be honest, I did not think it was gonna turn out. I really, really, really did not. I was hoping it would, so I gave it a shot and it actually turned out better than my brain had had them turn out for me. And I absolutely love them. 
I've got some clusters of flowers and snippets that I've made down here. And I just turned these into some pockets. Those are pretty little baby shoes. I just love those. I, and it's just, yeah, I love it. I'm so, so, so happy with how this turned out. All right, so this is in my Etsy shop for you to snatch up if you want it. And if you are interested in having me do a little video on how I made these um, doilies, decoupage them, let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to do a video for y'all. Um, so how's everybody doing this winter? Good, I hope. I hope that y'all practicing some of the things we talked about in past videos. Um, and y'all just hang in there. It will be spring soon. But I, I'm honestly, I'm loving the, I'm loving the winter weather. And I know a lot of y'all aren't. My daughter is just complaining. But I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm feeling all good and cozy and everything. But y'all take care of yourself, and see y'all next time. Bye.